starting off the video at Ace Hardware, right down the road from Walmart. Just barely fitting the new screen in the car, compliments of Mr. West for putting a nice gouge right in the middle of that screen. Now being a homeowner, it does help having a little bit bigger size of a vehicle. This isn't the biggest vehicle, but I could get that screen door in here, a ladder, then a sedan, like Kelly's car, even for mulch. Not bad for $36.75. And there's the culprit himself, Mr. West. Welcome to this week's episode of Walk and Talk. As a recording of this Sunday, June 25th, 2023. Gonna get into some SNK MVSX today. Arcade went up sales, what's frustrating about it. A little bit of I Arcade, plus my thoughts on the Batman Flash movie. What are you thinking about that Flash movie, Mr. Fox? Are you interested in seeing it? Not much new in the collectible area over here, but I did see the Star Trek. Yeah, Kirk here. Oh, Con Star Trek 2, dropping boxes as usual. It's that classic Con. And of course, Mr. Spock for $12.99. Not sure if I've seen the Karate Kid yet. This one looks kind of new for better shot there, Daniel. For $12.99. Nothing else really showing up here in this area. Just your standard stuff that we've been seeing. Besides the Star Trek and Karate Kid. And a shout out to Spider-Man 2099. Nothing about the Karate Kid. I heard that Cobra Kai has like one more season left. You know, things just kind of run their course. A shot at the Batwing from the Flash movie. A little bit of a coffee mistake. I accidentally dropped it, went everywhere. Luckily, they gave me a bunch of towels to clean it up with. Thought I was going into the cup holder and I went right through here. Made a huge mess. I was so excited about finding some of these other turtles. We're used to seeing, you know, the four turtles over here. But we have Bebop and Rocksteady. Stuffed underneath here. Along with Leatherhead, Splinter, and two Shredders. What made me excited was right across from the Turtles. I saw these Optimus Primes from a distance. I mean, I've been waiting to find these, you know, that 80s grid. I'm trying to find a price here, but man, the die cast. So, eight, eight and up, does it actually transform? Or is it, or is it just the vehicle? And actually, the movie. Optimus Prime too, so you have the two different, you got that 80s semi and then and then the newer one from the movie franchise. Pretty cool to see, but yeah, I don't think it transforms into the robot. Try not to knock anything over this time. But it's always fun to see that classic semi and that 80s grid. Stopping off at Brookfield Square, a quick pit stop. I'm gonna start off with MVSX. We're gonna head into that arcade and I wanna show you a game. We've covered it. In the last couple of weeks, this is something that is going to come to a big surprise to a lot of people. Right through the automated doors into the food court. Already people in the arcade. I mean, who doesn't love nostalgia, retro games? Prisoner of War. I said that if I didn't have this, I would drop, you know, $10 worth of credits. We all know that right around the corner here. It's not going to take quarters, you're going to have to start off with something similar like in a power cart like Dave & Buster's, getting all your credits and then going to any one of these and playing these games. And I said, you know, I, want, I was interested in playing this. Classic beat-em-up from SNK. Just to get a quick shot here, and you're going to see the CRT, obviously, the CRT filter, and believe it or not, this game is available on the Hilo Hack. Played it a couple of days ago. It's going to start off the same way. This is exactly how the game will start off. You're playing one or two players. 
me and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look on the MVSX, but the MVSX is becoming something, kind of a savior, and I'm gonna get into why. We're gonna go back to the arcade and check this out. I wanna get into the iArcade also. I kinda of regret not picking up a lot of games for the iArcade now that we're not able to download anymore. The Hilo hack, believe it or not, it's gonna save the day. Quick refresher on the MVSX. It's been a, while, been a while since I've done the review on here. You do have your MVSX and then the Hilo, the 50 games. It's actually been a while for me to go through these. It's a fighter heavy cabin. I mean, everyone's gonna tell you that. Now the thing is, is what I wanted to do on my review was to go through most of the gameplay because, you know, I gotta make sure I would've liked these, these 50 games, but you do have, you know, you have the Metal Slug franchise on here, along with, I wanna say 35 fighters. You have the Samurai Showdown collection. You do have some good beat em ups here. And then you get into their sports packages. And then back to some more fighting games. I mean, just with everything involved, your 50 games. And I was pretty happy with these. So we do have some options here. You have the Neo Geo, the Arcade Classics, the Mega Drive and Capcom. So you're going to get most of the Genesis and the Capcom library. So you're going to get 211 of that SNK Neo Geo along with some Capcom. You're going to see some of this come up here. But going down to the arcade classics, props us back here. I'm going to go going to stick with the high-low. And some more games that were on the iArcade. Games like 64th Street. And, you know, now that you can't play on, online, it doesn't matter. If you're going to play it on the Hilo Hack, the MVSX, or the iArcade, it's not online anyways now. So, if you missed out on some of these games, I'm, I'm really recommending picking up this MVSX. But the game that I was most in Contrabytes, there's a lot of iArcade titles on here. Still, I probably wish I would have picked up about 10 to 20 more games. Secret Agent was another iArcade. Now I did purchase that one. And the thing is, is I I didn't know all the games I had on here. I mean, just to go through all of this, you know, you just forget Renegade's another title that would have been available. But Prisoners of War, and this is why I went to Brookfield Square, and this is a title that I didn't even know was on here because I just, you know, to go through all of these games, each folder just was like, you know, there's 211 in the in the Neo Geo one, there's 112 in these arcade classics, and again, there's a couple titles here you're going to run into that aren't going to play that great, but Prisoners of War, this is going to play excellent, the music's going to hit. I mean, you're going to get everything. The only difference than what we saw at Brookfield Square today at the Castlecade was that was a CRT, and there is no CRT option for this game, but it is the two-player. I mean, it's the same game we were watching. You know, 1988, this is exactly how it starts off. This is what we saw, and it will play two-player. I just think this is a cabinet without new releases coming out you might want to look into picking up the MVSX there's going to be some great prices coming up in July and I do recommend getting the one or buying that riser separate it's going to be about 57 inches high without that riser it's a low cabinet and the way this is designed you're going to want to stand versus a stool because that control panel doesn't come out that far MVSX is going to be your best bet if you're going to buy from Direct at $539.99 and you can get the bar top for $499.99. They also sell the riser with the stool for $679.99. I'm going to show you something about that stool that it might not work for everybody. Now if we went right on Amazon for $569.99, like I said, it's going to be more than that $539 directly from MVSX, but $649.99, now this is going to come Everything you see here, now this is exactly what I have. Now I paid $5.69 I believe for mine. They run a sale on, on Prime Day coming up in July. You're looking at the $6.49.99. I mean don't pay attention to this 
you know, like you're getting a deal here, you're gonna knock off the $736. I mean, that's just absurd. This will come down. When this hits, this is my opinion, if you're gonna go with the MVSX, this is the one to get with the riser. There's your 50 games. You can see how it comes together here. Now this doesn't come with the stool, just the stand, the bar top, and the riser. So that will be three different packages. And it's interesting when you get two different sizes on that riser, by the way, when this does come, the bar top is completely assembled and it's in an MVSX like theme box. And you can see how the bar top is on the MVSX and the arcade that's right next to it. And the interesting thing about this is, you know, they're right next to each other. These are getting a lot of play right now. With the riser here on that MVSX, it really raises it up. I mean, just imagine without that riser. And the thing where I'm like kind of steering you away from getting the stool, this doesn't come out. So you don't really have anywhere to put your knees versus an arcade one up or the IRK, there's actual, that ledge is coming out. My opinion, if the MBSX is, is in the market for you, go for the riser, wait for a sale on Amazon, they're coming. Look at one of my favorite Best Buys. At the Mayfair Mall, kind of flipping the scene here, usually we're on the other side of the street, the iconic Mayfair at the top of this building. Mayfair Mall, which is gonna be a lot more livelier than Brookfield Square. Now there is a great Lego store at this mall and I'm hoping they have a display unit of that Pac-Man Lego. And I know there's there's a way you can play games on here. Obviously you wouldn't probably get that just to have it on display. I mean, what's the, you know, what, what do you think? Is that something that, that you're interested in along with the Wheel of Fortune Casino Cade, which originally, I totally looked at this wrong. When, they, when we first saw like the images, it looked like a bunch of party cade with casino games. I thought, well, this is gonna be cool. You're gonna have a lot of different options. Those were probably slot machines on games that were on the Wheel of Fortune. So all we're getting is, and, and you know, I'm the only one that obviously thought of this, all we're getting is the full-size Wheel of Fortune casino cade. Are you interested in that? I, you know, the, the thing is, is it comes out at $4.99. Try to get Best Buy here in the, in the backdrop. It comes out at $4.99. With a couple hours later, it's it's marked up at $599. I mean, that's too much, but at $499, I did consider it. I think it's a $399. I think that would help move it. What's the interest here? I'm not a big gambler, but it'd be cool to have just something different at home. You know, to, you're cooking a pizza, for example. You, you play this game for 12 minutes. It might be worth having an option like that, that not, not necessarily you're putting in the arcade, you could have it in the living room for crying out loud, but I think it would look good in people's homes. I just think $5.99 is way too much to be asking for this. One of the entrances to Mayfair Mall, uh, I think the Lego store's upstairs. There's, a, there's two floors here at this mall. This is gonna be, you know, a way better mall than Brookfield Square, minus that Castle K, which is always cool to see, but you're gonna find a lot more stores. You're gonna see how much more livelier this mall is than what we've seen at Brookfield Square. You know, just a general layout of the land. I mean, you're gonna have two floors of shopping, plus an Apple store, and any mall that does have an Apple store, I mean, it's a very legitimate mall. We have to go upstairs, we're gonna get on that escalator and find that Lego store. This mall does have a movie theater, and The Flash, currently playing. We'll get to this soon. I wanna give my thoughts without giving too many spoilers on this movie. It's retro games kiosk over here, classic. 620 similar 8-bit games. And we found the Lego store and the Pac-Man Lego is right here in the front. Pretty good size. I believe it's $269.99. Does come with a couple of miniature figures here. Very cool. I mean, this is something that would look good on the shelf. Look at the back cave here. Thing is enormous. You got the Michael Keaton Batmobile. This kind of beats out the uh, Pac-Man. You got Bruce Wayne right there. Some good stuff, Alfred. 
thought that was the dock from Back to the Future. $269.99, just like what we thought out there. Pretty arcade accurate. The artwork, the marquee, comes with the Ghost Pac-Man. 2,651 pieces. Actually, there's an Atari Lego too. This is it's crazy. I mean, I don't even I didn't even hear about this one. Pretty cool to see this in person. And a shot of I think half of that bat cave that we saw on display out there for $399.99. Legos are definitely not on the cheap side. It does come with that Michael Keaton Batmobile. But I don't see that big logo. There must be another another set that goes with that. And probably the clearest picture we're gonna get. Relive your arcade days with a 1980s classic Pac-Man. Very cool, I mean this nostalgia. To come into a Lego store and see Star Wars, see Batman, Pac-Man, heck, even Atari. Actually, now that I look at this, so the $399.99, we just saw the price. So it opens up like a book kind of thing, right? Like an album, so this closes and that's why you know, I saw that larger, if you can see this on camera, that larger bat, bat logo. Not bad. You know what? I don't know it's expensive, but if you're getting all of this, this would be really cool for the ultimate Batman fan. I just saw Catwoman here hanging. It's on Arcade 1 up site here and just staring at that deluxe cabinet. And then going back to the Lego. I think this is a must for, I mean, if you're totally into this. I could see this, you know, in your in a game room, anywhere on display. You know, it's just classic retro nostalgia. Taking a look at that Wheel of Fortune casino cake. I think this is the same kind of scenario here. If something like a Lego Pac-Man would interest you, same kind of category as this Wheel of Fortune casino cake, deluxe. But the $5.99, which, did I just scroll over it? The $5.99. I swear when I first saw this, it was $4.99. That is extreme. I mean, for $5.99, you know, you're talking Star Wars with a flight yoke, or Fast and Furious with a steering wheel, gas, brake pedal. For this, if this is what we're getting for $5.99, looking at the far bottom here, does that look like, I mean, I just don't know, is this the finished product? It just looks like open, that, that end here, that wood color, and I zoomed it in a little bit, or is that gold? I don't know. That's way too much. I think $3.99 really moves these. I could understand a $4.99 to start off with. And just some of the games here to check out. You're gonna get a ton of replayability on here. I mean, this really interests me. I mean, kudos to Arcade went up for bringing us, you know, something different here. Something else to play like that Infinity Game Board. You know, you're just trying to attract different people, different fans. That's, you know, most people who are into 80s and 90s games, this might not appeal to them. But there are people that it would appeal to, and, you know, they're just trying to get more business, and I think that just benefits all of us. I mean, I've, I've said that in the past, but believe it or not, this, you know, I could see something like this at home. I don't know if I'd put it in the arcade. I mean, there's no room in the arcade. But it would be fun to play some of these games. Also, great gift idea for, for, you know, your parents or even grandparents. I mean, you think about Wheel of Fortune, how long it's been around. It's an iconic game. I mean, it's nostalgia to a lot of people. And just for posterity, we have not been inside of a GameStop yet. And just to note, that food court that I'm always saying, like the, the glass, you can see this a mile away. This is like the iconic part of Mayfair Mall, just with the big elevator right here. The food court straight ahead. Actually, restaurants still at this food court versus other malls I've recently been to. Taking a look at this GameStop. You can find PlayStation 5s, $39.99, $49.99. It's been a little while since I've been in here. They do have some collectibles. And I've seen some of these at Target. I always admire that Cyclops and Ghost Rider and the prices seem pretty comparable. That's my favorite pose here when you look at Ghost Rider's legs. Looks like they have Wave 4 of the Power Ranger, so we have Alpha 5 here and the Black Ranger. Just shows you that you have to hit up Walmarts, Best Buys, GameStops to, to find these figures. We'll just take a look here. You have the White Tiger Zord, Alpha 5. 
with the White Ranger. Always great to see that iconic logo. So closer look of that Black Ranger. Also, I just saw 90s X-Men here. Storm, Forge, and Jubilee. A three pack. Ooh, $77.99. I don't know, would you ever even want to take these out of the box? 60 year anniversary. And plenty of those pop figures. There's a the new flash right there. Also, it looks like there was an exclusive here for G.I. Joe. Six, six pieces. Always oh, a fan of Snake Eyes, he's my favorite. Waiting for the day when we can go to a GameStop and actually find an arcade one up in there. More familiar side for me is being on this side of the street across from Mayfair. We were just in that glass part where that food court was. GameStop was right there, Lego store. Decided to stop at this Best Buy. We're going to go to my home Best Buy too. We'll just see if there's anything new at this Best Buy. We're going to talk some arcade one up. They do have all three of the deluxe here, which is always great to see. And right around the corner from there, they do have some more legacies here. Mortal Kombat 2, Pac-Man. Only one Class 81 remaining here, but it is good to see these in stock. We'll see how the Home Best Buy compares, but they always just seem to have a little bit more here. They do have the Pac-Mania on display here, and this is that one that they were missing, that dust protector. And just looking on here, this is what I expect to see someday. We're still seeing that $315.99 for Terminator 2. My eyes are on Shack Jam. This is a cabinet that I haven't thought about as much lately because I just haven't seen anything come up online. We're at Best Buy Weekly. I just expect an in-store deal on this. Similar to that Golden Tea sale, Blitz is still back at $599. And then, of course, the Legacies, the Pac-Man, Class 81, Mortal Kombat 2. Will we see the Casino Cade, the Wheel of Fortune Casino Cade at Best Buy? Is that going to be an exclusive? Because we have yet to see the Fast and Furious here. And another reason why this is one of my favorite Best Buys, they just have arcade one ups just randomly placed. I saw this NFL Blitz last time we were here. I know it's $5.99. I mean, no one's going to pay $5.99 unless it's just had come out. We'll probably see this at $2.99 very soon, but. Always looking around, you know, for the possible shack jam, you know, up here on the rafters, but just that NFL Blitz and then the deluxe cabinets where that arcade one-up kiosk was. Believe it or not, I just did a scavenger hunt here. I went from one corner, of that NFL Blitz was up there in the corner. They had the random Class of 81 Mortal Kombat 2 Pac-Man on the other side of here. There was an infinity table here, 18 inch, that has sold at $4.99, believe it or not. This was the only Best Buy that I did see this in stock, and it looks like it was picked up. The clouds behind me, the rain's just about to come. I know it's windy, you can probably hardly hear me. We're at the home Best Buy. We're gonna see what's different than the Mayfair Best Buy we were just at. And to go over Arcade went up what frustrates me about the sales. I have the Rogue Alley here at this Best Buy. I've seen this come up online. Every time I'm looking at Arcade went up this is, you know, at the top of the, the page. And you know, it's got some good size to it. Kind of on the high side, but they do have a nice kiosk here. Anyone that's interested in this, stop at Best Buy and check it out. Notable sales that last time we were here, this was 20. So it started off at 25, dropped 20. Now 17.54. Dragon Sword. I just saw those Wave 4. So this is Wave 3. So the Wave 4 were at GameStop. It's not a bad price for Dragon Sword. Lionel, $38.50. So he started off at, I want to say, $55. The Turtles 3, though, the Leonardo. I, I'm not sure if he was $50 or $55, but you can see he's sold out. All that's left are the two Lionel Hook Mountain Ice figure with that artwork that I'm always, this reminds you of that Thundercats cartoon. For $38.50, pretty good price. $59.50 on that Japanese Transformer, Super 7. So if you're interested in any of these, I encourage you to stop by Best Buy. Also, T2, $38.50, it seems a little high. I wonder if those 
I don't know if this is in the right spot, but you know, I encourage you to check out Best Buy if you're interested in any of these figures. I do have $20.99 for the DC Multiverse. Jay Garrett, just a little spoiler alert. You might see him in the Flash movie. Legends of Zelda Tears of Kingdom. So some games left at $69.99 at Best Buy. And not a lot of arcade one-ups here. Usually there's some on the side here. We'll see if there's anything on the back side along with that floor model that they're never gonna sell. They, they really gotta drop the price down on that Pac-Mania. Mortal Kombat 2 Deluxe on display. Here's some of the recents. Nothing has changed here. You had Blitz at $599.99 and the Mortal Kombat 2 for $49.99. Pac-Man Deluxe and the same options here what we just saw at the Mayfair Best Buy. Again, Shack Jam. Expecting this one to be $315, possibly, dare I say, $299 eventually. We have two available cabinets here. Like I said, I mean, that Class 81, this is what, why I like that Mayfair Best Buy. You can see Pac-Land here in the background. Why I la like that Best Buy so much more is that they have all three of these. You can look at the Class 81, and, they, and this is where I bought my Class 81. You know, I mean, it's just people are, are picking these up, but you know, you do see the Mortal Kombat 2, where I did buy my Mortal Kombat 2 also, and then the Pac-Man Deluxe. So there are some cabinets here available, but this $3.99, I'm, I'm just so surprised why this is so much. Nobody is paying that much for this. This one does have <laughs> that uh, dust cover though, dust protector. The only stores that I've seen, well, I, I think Kohl's had these too, but the Couch Cade for $152.99, I mean, if you really want to get this moving, I mean, at this point, I don't know who would pay over $50 for this. I mean, it's just, you have to find the right person. $152.99, way too much for this. So here's what frustrates me the most about the sales on Best Buy site. We know that the sales are done with, with the Deluxe, they're back at $500. Centipede 500, Pack Mania 500, getting down here to where Golden T is, $700. We know that there was a 315 deal, like we see here with with T2, and you know we're expecting here with Shack Jam, Fast and Furious, $600. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Now there's stock again, $600 for this cabinet. You know, first of all. You know, the sales are coming. We just haven't seen a lot of it in the last week and a half. This should really be, if you're gonna charge $49.99 for a deluxe, you know, with, with, with all the options here, you have the new form factor, you got riserless. At this point, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 should be no more than $49.99. I just wanna throw that out there. If you're interested in this cabinet, the fact that they're not sold out, the FOMO, I mean, it. it there's cabinets available, hold out, hold out, because it will drop. I don't know how low it will go, but it will be, you know, more of a $49.99 price, that's for sure. You know, $700 for Shack Jam. T2, $700, which is, you know, again, in-store. You gotta, you gotta go to Best Buy. It, I just don't understand why you're not able to get that price online. $700, the, the fact of the matter is, is when they do run a sale, like we saw with Killer Instinct. You know, forget about the arcade one up direct at $149.99. Best Buy, when they do another sale here, it's gonna be $299.99, and then they mark it back up to $700. They obviously didn't even move at, you know, $300. You move it back up to $700, nobody's buying this. I don't understand why X-Men, you know, at $399, then they go back up to $750. This has been available right here. November 2021. I mean, we're almost, it's almost two years ago. No one is paying this for X-Men. I just don't understand, you know, it, it, it really, it's annoying that they mark up the price so much they're obviously not moving. This is what frustrates me the most about Arcade 1UP. The fact that they give us a great price. It obviously doesn't sell out. I mean, are you, if you're trying to sell these, if you want to move, you know, you want the casino cades here, you want, you know, you want to stock Fast and Furious, 
Buck Hunter Deluxe are all those Best Buy, you know, exclusives. You know, you're going to have to get rid of titles like Shack Jam, Terminator 2, and NFL Blitz just to make it all the Deluxe along with the Infinity Game Boards. No one's paying these full prices. And when you do a sale, I mean really do a sale, something like this couch cage here, no one's going to pay $153 for this thing. I just, when they get to the point where they're going to really mark down in July, and, and this is what we've been waiting for, the Black Friday in July, how low are they going to go with some of these prices? And after those sales, how much is going to be left on Best Buy, on Target, Kohl's? Everybody it will have the same price as Amazon. What kind of deals will we see? And then when they don't sell out, how low will they be priced? Are they going to be full price or are they going to still run incentives after July? And my thoughts on the Flash movie that I did see at the Marcus Cinema. Now there are some hidden gems in that movie. Don't want to give any spoilers away, but yeah, Chris Reeve here as Superman. And once stated, this was the game room, the arcade, at my youth cinema, if you will. I'm standing against the back wall here. I mean, it just, everything looked bigger. You know, in my, in my teens, you know, 95, 96, 97, coming in here, that right here would be those shooting cabinets, games like Revolution X, Area 51, Lethal Enforcers, even Terminator 2, and all that's left is this relic from the past, the change machine. Probably would have used these. This is the same one that you would get those quarters, and you know, it was always the $10 worth of quarters. It was always like, you know, you want to beat X Men, beat some of these games. It would, it would cost you 10 bucks. They do have a nice racing cabinet here, along with some good pinballs. You're gonna see a lot of these claw machines. I mean, this isn't a recap of what we're gonna expect, but this is it. This is what this game room is now. But back in the day, there were so many awesome arcades in here. And you know, you'd see movies like Jumanji, Men in Black, Independence Day. You come back here and just and just spend quarters and play these arcade games. Just dreaming one day that we would have our own arcades in our home. This is a new Mission Impossible movie. The previews before The Flash, I mean, just loving Tom Cruise. I always appreciate seeing him in the theaters. Check out The Flash, it's a great movie, you're gonna love it. I don't wanna give away too many spoilers, but it's gonna remind you a lot of that Flashpoint series, the animated movie. Some of my favorite DC movies are those animated movies. Watch it at the theaters, there's a lot of reviews out there, but take it from me. You're gonna love the movie. It's gonna, you know, you're gonna escape reality. And actually, you know, I was the only one. I felt like Elvis. I was the only one in this theater, you know, watching this from start to finish. I've never been just by myself in a movie theater before. Kelly didn't want to go with me. I didn't want to press her. It's just not her type of movie. It was more important for me to watch this, just seeing Michael Keaton as Batman again, seeing a live action Flash movie, Ben Affleck reprising his role as Batman and just in a list of surprises from start to finish from DC from the very beginning Warner Brothers to now it just you're gonna see all of that in this movie you know reviews out there you know the financial things you're seeing on the box office aren't really reflecting you know great things about this movie but take it from me a DC fanatic I mean don't expect too much from superhero movies I think that's something that we do and we kind of fault for that like you know you've seen Marvel's success and I don't want to take anything away from, you know, the, the Snyder Cut for DC or anything, but you know, this, this is a great movie. I had a lot of fun watching it. There's not much negativity I can come away with. It was a fun movie. I forgot about life, and I saw things I never th thought I'd ever see. The DC properties finally come to life. 
I encourage you to check this movie out. It's in theaters right now. There's reviews out there. You know, I, watch the movie. Go check it out. I, actually, this is a movie that I would, I, I'd buy. You know, when it, when it comes available, I don't own a lot of movies. Usually I watch a movie once or twice and I'm pretty much good. I would watch this one a couple more times. This was a fun movie. You know, the Flashpoint's just such a great storyline. And the fact that they brought most of that into a live action movie, you know, you just don't want to pass these things up. You don't want to miss Michael Keaton as Batman and others. And just trust me, there's so many surprises in this movie. I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll see you guys on the next Walk and Talk.